Welcome to the vast and mysterious realm of the deep sea, a place where darkness reigns and pressures are unimaginable. Here, miles beneath the ocean's surface, lies a world that remains largely uncharted and unexplored. Despite being the largest habitat on Earth, covering over 70% of our planet's surface and accounting for 95% of its living space, the deep sea is less understood than the surface of the moon. What drives our curiosity is not just what we know, but what we have yet to uncover. This enigmatic world holds secrets about the origins of life, extreme conditions, and potentially clues to extraordinary forms of existence. Today we delve into the abyss to explore these mysteries, to seek out the unknown, and to understand why the deep sea continues to be one of the last great mysteries on Earth. The environment of the deep sea. The environment of the deep sea presents conditions that are among the most extreme on our planet. Here, the pressure escalates to incomprehensible levels, reaching over a thousand times the atmospheric pressure at sea level. This immense pressure is equivalent to having 50 jumbo jets piled on top of you. Despite these harsh conditions, life finds a way to thrive in the depths. Temperature in the deep sea also plays a crucial role in shaping this alien world. As you descend into the deeper layers, the warmth of the sun fades away and temperatures can plummet to near freezing. In some parts of the deep ocean, especially near hydrothermal vents, temperatures can swing to the other extreme, shooting up to 400 degrees Celsius, 752 degrees Fahrenheit, due to superheated water being expelled from the Earth's crust. Darkness in the deep sea is another defining feature. Beyond a depth of about 1,000 meters, sunlight is completely absent, plunging the environment into perpetual night. Yet, this eternal darkness is occasionally punctuated by bursts of bioluminescent light produced by some of the most bizarre creatures on Earth. Exploring this harsh environment poses significant challenges. The crushing pressure, freezing temperatures, and absolute darkness make the deep sea as difficult and dangerous to explore as outer space. Traditional equipment and human divers cannot withstand these extremes, so we rely heavily on specialized vehicles like submersibles and remotely operated vehicles, ROVs. These machines are engineered to endure the pressures and cold of the deep, equipped with lights and cameras to capture and bring back images of what lies in these profound depths. Despite advancements in technology, each descent is a complex operation fraught with the challenges. The remoteness and inaccessibility mean that much of the deep sea remains a mystery with only a tiny fraction having been explored and even less being understood. This makes every expedition potentially revolutionary, offering glimpses into an ecosystem that could hold answers to some of the most profound questions about life and our planet. Unexplained sounds and phenomena, echoes from the deep, mysterious sounds of the ocean. The deep sea is not only a visual mystery, but an auditory one as well. Over the years, hydrophones, Underwater microphones used by scientists to monitor the acoustic environment of the ocean have picked up a variety of sounds that remain unexplained to this day. These eerie recordings often resemble something out of a science fiction novel and have sparked both fascination and speculation about their origins. One of the most famous of these sounds is known as the bloop, detected in 1997 across a network of hydrophones spanning thousands of kilometers across the Pacific Ocean. The bloop was a powerful ultra-low frequency sound that rose rapidly in frequency over about one minute and was loud enough to be picked up by multiple sensors located up to 5,000 kilometers apart. Initial speculation ranged from ice calving from glaciers to giant marine creatures, but the most plausible explanation scientists currently lean towards is that it was the noise of an ice quake, large icebergs cracking and breaking away from an Antarctic glacier. Another mysterious sound is Julia, recorded on March 1st, 1999. It was a loud, whale-like noise detected by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA. The sound lasted for about 15 seconds and resembled a moan. It is believed that this sound originated from the Antarctic Peninsula. Researchers suggest that it may have been the sound of a large iceberg scraping the ocean floor, though, like many sounds in the deep sea, a definitive explanation remains elusive. These sounds and others like upsweep and slow down are not just curiosities. They potentially carry significant information about the less understood phenomena occurring within our oceans. Theories about their origins include geological activities such as underwater volcanoes and earthquakes, or biological activities from undiscovered marine life. Understanding these sounds is crucial not only for satisfying human curiosity, but for practical reasons. They can provide insights into the geological and ecological dynamics of the ocean's depths, which are important for environmental and conservation planning, as technology advances and more sophisticated audio equipment is deployed. 
we may gradually peel away the layers of mystery shrouding these sounds. Each unexplained noise offers a puzzle piece in the vast, intricate picture of our planet's underwater ecosystem. Mystical shipwrecks and lost cities. Throughout history, the ocean has concealed tales of devastation and mystery within its depths, hiding away shipwrecks and rumored lost cities. Among these, each story carries its own blend of historical intrigue and mythological wonder. Take, for example, the eerie tale of the SS Orang Medan. According to maritime legends, this ghost ship was found adrift in the waters of the Strait of Malacca in the late 1940s. When rescuers boarded the ship, they reportedly found the entire crew dead, their faces frozen in expressions of horror with no visible signs of injuries. The ship itself mysteriously exploded and sank while being towed, fueling speculation and conspiracy theories about what might have been on board. Despite the dramatic tales, the existence of the Orang Medan itself has often been questioned, as records of the ship are scarce and details remain murky, making it a perfect subject of maritime lore. Equally captivating is the legend of Atlantis, the supposed advanced civilization that Plato wrote about in his dialogues. He described a utopia that fell out of favor with the gods and sank into the sea in a single day and night of misfortune. For centuries, the story of Atlantis has captured the imagination of explorers and scholars. While many consider it a myth, some modern researchers have attempted to link it to real historical events or locations, such as the volcanic eruption on Santorini in ancient Greece. The allure of discovering a lost city beneath the waves continues to inspire explorations and debates among archaeologists and oceanographers. These stories of shipwrecks and lost cities are more than just tales of curiosity. They serve as poignant reminders of the ocean's power to both give and take away. They also underscore the complexity of underwater exploration and the technological advancements required to uncover these depths. Each shipwreck discovered and each myth examined adds a piece to our understanding of human history and the natural forces that shape our world. As we continue to probe the ocean's depths, the line between myth and history becomes increasingly blurred, revealing that perhaps these stories carry more truth than we might imagine. By delving into these mysteries, each expedition not only seeks answers but also perpetuates the awe and respect we hold for the formidable and mysterious ocean. Alien-like life forms and ecosystems, extremophiles and hydrothermal vent communities. In the deepest, darkest parts of the ocean, conditions are so extreme that they mirror what we might expect on distant alien planets. Yet even here, life thrives in forms so unusual and specialized that they seem otherworldly. These organisms are known as extremophiles, and their very existence challenges our understanding of life's boundaries. Extremophiles are organisms that can not only survive, but also thrive under some of the harshest conditions imaginable. Intense pressure, scalding heat, total darkness, and chemical environments toxic to most other forms of life. These conditions are often found around hydrothermal vents, fissures in the planet's surface from which geothermally heated water spews. Discovered in the late 1970s, hydrothermal vents opened a new chapter in biology. Located along mid-ocean ridges, these vents can reach temperatures of over 400 degrees Celsius, 752 degrees Fahrenheit, due to the superheated water that emerges from beneath the Earth's crust. Despite this, the water doesn't boil because of the immense pressure at these depths, which keeps it in liquid form. The life forms found around these vents are as extreme as the environment. One of the most fascinating is the tube worm, which lacks a digestive system. Instead, these worms rely on symbiotic bacteria living inside them that convert the chemicals from the vents, like hydrogen sulfide, into organic molecules, providing nourishment to both the bacteria and their hosts. This process, known as chemosynthesis, is analogous to photosynthesis but doesn't rely on sunlight, thus allowing life to flourish at the ocean's floor. Other residents include giant clams and mussels, which also harbor chemosynthetic bacteria and unique species of shrimp and crabs adapted to the toxic conditions that would be lethal to most other life forms. These creatures have developed not just to survive, but to capitalize on their harsh environment, showing an incredible range of biochemical and physiological adaptations. These ecosystems are so isolated that each vent system often hosts species that are found nowhere else on Earth, making them akin to underwater islands of unique biodiversity. The study of these life forms not only helps us understand more about life on Earth, but also informs our search for life in outer space. The resilience and adaptability of extremophiles suggest that life could potentially exist in the extreme environments of other planets and moons within our solar system, such as Mars or Europa. The study of hydrothermal vents and their unique ecosystems is still in its infancy, with many species undoubtedly yet to be discovered and many secrets yet to be uncovered.
These alien-like ecosystems show us the incredible adaptability of life and expand our understanding of the conditions under which life can exist, both here on Earth and beyond. Mysterious Geological Features Enigmas of the Deep The Yonaguni Monument and Other Underwater Mysteries Among the numerous puzzles presented by the deep sea, none are perhaps as controversial or captivating as the mysterious underwater structures that blur the lines between natural geological formations and potential archaeological relics. One of the most intriguing of these is the Yonaguni Monument, located near the Ryukyu Islands in Japan. Discovered in 1985 by a diver looking for a good spot to observe sharks, the Yonaguni Monument is a complex of massive underwater rock formations. At first glance, the sharp angles and flat surfaces of this structure suggest an artificial origin, reminiscent of step pyramids found in Mesopotamia and Mesoamerica. The monument includes what appear to be terraced structures, carved steps, and even a stone that resembles a carved face. This has led some scholars and enthusiasts to propose that Yonaguni could be the remains of an ancient submerged civilization, possibly dating back as much as 10,000 years. However, the debate over the origin of the Yonaguni monument is intense. Mainstream scientists argue that the monument's features can be accounted for by natural processes. According to these geologists, the sharp edges and flat planes are the result of well-understood, naturally occurring geological phenomena such as tectonic activity and the erosive power of water currents over millennia. They point out that the sandstones making up the monument, known as the Yayayama Group, are prone to forming the sharp, straight fractures observed at Yonaguni. This divide between interpretations highlights a broader question in underwater exploration. When does a geological feature signify the existence of ancient human activity? And when is it merely a play of natural forces? As we explore further, similar cases emerge around the world, like the submerged rock formations in Lake Michigan resembling a Stonehenge or the so-called underwater road off the coast of Bimini in the Bahamas. The exploration of these features is fraught with challenges. Underwater visibility is often limited, and dating underwater sites accurately can be technologically demanding and expensive. Yet these investigations are crucial. They can potentially reshape our understanding of prehistoric human civilization and migration patterns, particularly during periods when sea levels were significantly lower than today. Whether these enigmatic features are the works of ancient civilizations swallowed by the sea or merely the product of age-old natural geological processes, their study undeniably enriches our understanding of the complex history of our planet's surface. As technology advances and we dive deeper into these mysteries, we may soon find answers lying in the shadowy depths of our oceans. Dark zones and what lurks within. The ocean's dark zones, those depths beyond the reach of sunlight, represent one of the most enigmatic environments on Earth. These regions start at about 1,000 meters below the surface and extend to the deepest oceanic trenches. In these profound depths, complete darkness prevails. The pressure is crushing and the cold is intense. Yet, despite these forbidding conditions, the dark zones are far from lifeless. In fact, they teem with an array of creatures so bizarre they could rival any alien imagined by science fiction. In the perpetual darkness, many organisms have evolved extraordinary adaptations to survive. Bioluminescence, the ability to produce light through chemical reactions within an organism's body, is one of the most striking. This phenomenon is not just a beautiful display, but a crucial survival tool. It can be used to lure prey, deter predators, or attract mates in the utter blackness. Creatures like the anglerfish, with its glowing lure dangling in front of sharp teeth, embody the eerie and resourceful adaptations necessary to thrive in the dark zones. Beyond individual survival, bioluminescence plays a role in what's known as the Deep Sea Light Show, where flashes of light from various creatures create a dynamic and bustling environment invisible to the human eye unless illuminated by the lights of a submersible or ROV, remotely operated vehicle. The ecology of these dark zones is not only defined by the life forms that inhabit it, but also by the sheer mystery of what else might be lurking there. The vast, unexplored territories lead to much speculation and theorizing about undiscovered species. The immense size of these zones, combined with their inaccessibility, suggests that many species await discovery. Each expedition can potentially reveal new species, or even ecosystems that could change our understanding of biological processes. Moreover, recent scientific explorations have uncovered phenomena such as brine pools, super salty bodies of water on the ocean floor that are so dense they effectively form underwater lakes toxic to most marine life. These pools and the ecosystems around them challenge our understanding of survival and adaptation. There are also theories about massive underwater caves hidden within the seabed 
that could house unique life forms, completely isolated from the rest of the ocean. The potential for these caves to contain air pockets might even offer environments radically different from the surrounding sea, perhaps akin to the isolated lakes found beneath Antarctic ice. The exploration of the ocean's dark zones pushes the limits of modern technology and human ingenuity. As we delve deeper and technology improves, the dark zones may yield scientific discoveries that not only illuminate our understanding of life in extreme conditions, but also offer insights into the Earth's past climates and even guide the search for life on other planets. In summary, the dark zones of the ocean are a frontier as challenging and compelling as outer space, filled with mysteries that continue to draw scientists and explorers into their depths. What we understand today about these regions is just the tip of the iceberg, with much more waiting to be discovered in the cold, dark waters. Recent discoveries and ongoing mysteries, unveiling the depths, recent breakthroughs, and continuing enigmas. The deep sea, a realm once shrouded in complete mystery, has started to reveal its secrets thanks to cutting-edge technology and intrepid scientific endeavors. Recent explorations have brought to light extraordinary discoveries and raised even more questions about what lies hidden in the ocean's darkest corners. One of the most significant recent discoveries is the identification of new species that challenge our understanding of life. For instance, researchers have recently documented species of snailfish at depths of over 8,000 meters in the Mariana Trench, setting records for the deepest living fish ever found. These creatures are adapted to life under extreme pressure and in total darkness, showcasing a remarkable example of life's adaptability. Another groundbreaking discovery involves the ecosystem surrounding hydrothermal vent fields on the ocean floor. These vents, spewing minerals and hot water, support vibrant communities where life thrives without sunlight, relying instead on chemosynthesis. Recent explorations have uncovered previously unknown vent fields in the remote southern ocean and off the coast of the northwest United States, each hosting unique species that are new to science. In addition to biological discoveries, technological advancements have opened new chapters in deep-sea exploration. The development of autonomous underwater vehicles, AUVs, and improved remote-operated vehicles, ROVs, has allowed scientists to explore deeper and in more detail than ever before. These machines can now collect data in environments that are too harsh for human divers, sending back images and samples that can be analyzed in ways that were once thought impossible. Ongoing explorations continue to focus on several intriguing mysteries. One such enigma is the nature and source of mysterious underwater hum detected by global monitoring stations. This low-frequency sound seems to pulse with the rhythms of the Earth, and its origin is still not fully understood. Scientists speculate it might be related to deep-sea tectonic movements or the behavior of large marine mammals. Another ongoing area of investigation is the impact of deep-sea mining on fragile ecosystems. As commercial interest in seafloor minerals grows, researchers are racing to understand the ecological consequences of such activities. The deep ocean floor is rich in valuable minerals and metals, but mining them could potentially devastate unknown and unstudied ecosystems. Scientists are urgently studying these environments to inform regulations that could protect these dark, mysterious places from irreversible damage. Lastly, there is the continuous quest to map the ocean floor completely. Despite being a vast part of the Earth's surface, less than 20% of the seafloor has been mapped with high resolution, leaving vast areas where literally anything could be hiding. The comprehensive mapping of our planet's seabed could reveal not only new resources and geological features, but also ancient shipwrecks and even more clues about our climate's history through sediment patterns. In conclusion, as each new discovery peels back a layer of the deep sea's secrets, it reinforces the ocean's status as one of the last great unexplored places on Earth. With ongoing explorations, each dive has the potential to reveal phenomena that could be revolutionary, not just for oceanography, but for broader scientific fields including biology, geology, and environmental science. As we reflect on our journey through the deep sea, it's clear that vast stretches of our planet's oceans remain unexplored and full of potential. Despite significant advancements in technology that have peeled back some layers of these mysterious depths, most of the ocean is still a frontier awaiting discovery. These regions not only harbor unknown species and ecosystems, but are also key to understanding our planet's past and the resilience of life under extreme conditions. However, the urge to explore these depths must be balanced with the need to protect them. 
The fragile ecosystems of the deep ocean are vulnerable to human activities such as pollution, deep sea mining, and the disturbances caused by exploratory equipment. We must advocate for responsible exploration that includes supporting scientific research, developing policies for sustainable interaction, and using technology that minimizes environmental impact. I urge support for continued exploration and preservation of these enigmatic depths. Let's promote international cooperation and educate on the importance of the deep sea, ensuring its protection for future generations. As we venture further into the unknown, let us remain committed stewards of the ocean's mysteries, safeguarding this final frontier of earthly exploration. Thank you for joining this deep dive. Together, let's keep exploring responsibly, fueled by wonder and guided by stewardship.